Hello, YouTube. Sir Dragon X here. Doesn't seem like the Super Peso is slowing down anytime soon. We're going to discuss that in the video coming up next. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a topic of great importance, particularly for expats in Mexico or people planning to move to Mexico the surging value of the Mexican peso against the U.S. dollar. We'll explore what this means for the future and its potential consequences. So let's get started, shall we? The Mexican peso has recently seen a significant appreciation against the U.S. dollar. Currently, the exchange dynamics show a robust gain in the peso's value, a scenario not frequently witnessed over the past decade. As a matter of fact, the peso hit a high at 16.2701 on April 9, 2024, according to XC Currency. The last time the exchange rate was at these levels was in 2015. I did a previous video last year in which BBVA issued a report that the exchange rate would hit 19 to 1 by the end of 2023. Well, of course, we know that didn't happen. I also stated that there were other predictions citing that it would reach 15 to 1 by the end of 2023. We also know that this didn't happen either. My father-in-law, who happens to be an economics professor emeritus from the Tech de Monterrey, told me that predicting the future movement of currency exchange rates, including the Mexican peso against the U.S. dollar, involves analyzing a complex array of factors, including economic indicators, policy stability, fiscal policies, and global market trends. The problem is that in recent times, these factors have been volatile, and there is no telling which way the peso will sway. Predicting a clear upward or downward trend for the peso requires a careful consideration of future economic policy, political stability in Mexico, and global economic trends. We can't predict the future. Both Mexico and the United States face an election year, so we are uncertain in regards to all these factors. It all depends on how the future administrations handle these issues. Mexico has definitely seen a growth in their economy and is ranked 15th in the world by GDP and predicted to be in the top 10 economies within the next 5 to 10 years. This is due to increased exports, nearshoring, and overall economic growth. Bottom line, if Mexico maintains a stable political environment and implements policies fostering economic growth and controlling inflation, it could support a strengthening of the peso. Conversely, continued volatility in global markets, unfavorable economic data, or political instability could pressure the peso downward. So exactly what's affecting the growth of the peso at this time? It's a combination of factors. Let's take a look. First, you have high interest rates. The Bank of Mexico has raised interest rates substantially with the reference rate increasing from 5.5% at the end of 2021 to its current rate of 11%. Higher interest rates are attractive to foreign investors seeking better returns on investments, which increases demand for the peso. Second is inflation. Despite high inflation rates, particularly with food prices, the Mexican government has managed to mitigate some inflationary pressures by subsidizing fuel costs and using extra revenue from exported crude oil. This governmental intervention has helped stabilize the peso's value. Third, we have robust exports. Mexico has seen a surge in its exports, reaching their highest levels ever. This increase is primarily due to the boost in manufacturing of goods and nearshoring, which has helped accumulate a surplus of foreign currency, thereby strengthening the peso's value. Fourth is record money remittances. Money remittances from the United States to Mexico are at an all-time high. This influx of dollars increases the supply of foreign currency, contributing to the peso's strength. Fifth, is the declining value of the dollar. Although the dollar has regained some strength over the first several months of 2024, it has seen an overall decline in value with high inflation and the current economic conditions worldwide. And the last one I will mention is economic recovery. 
the economy has rebounded well from the 2020 recession with GDP growth outperforming expectations and returning to pre-pandemic levels by the end of 2022. This recovery has bolstered investor confidence in Mexico's economic stability. Now, it's important to note that these factors collectively contribute to the Mexican peso's recent gains against the U.S. dollar, making it a strong performer in foreign currency exchange markets. With the coming elections and Mexico being a major player in the world stage, there is no telling which direction the peso will go against the dollar. So what is my point if we can't predict the future of the peso? I see a lot of Facebook posts littered with armchair quarterback posts about the exchange rate saying everything from the value of the peso is going to plummet to the dollar will never recover and it's only going to get worse. The truth is that no one can predict what is to come as far as the exchange rate is concerned. But I can say one thing, though. The future of the peso is uncertain and hinges on numerous economic variables. However, understanding these trends and variables will help you make informed decisions whether you already live in Mexico or you're thinking about moving here. For now, the peso strength is a reflection of Mexico's resilient economy and, as always, a fluid situation that demands close attention. The recent public comment by the United States Speaker of the House of Representatives saying, we are the United States and Mexico will do as we say, has come to an end and Mexico will be a force to be dealt with. As the current president of Mexico responded on 60 Minutes to that comment, no, no, Mr. Legislature, that comment was disrespectful. We are an independent nation, free and sovereign. We are not a colony of any country. We are not subordinate to any other nation. The Mexican president also stressed that Mexico should be treated as equals and not looked down upon. As someone said it best on YouTube, the days of si senor and bowing to the United States government looks like it's coming to an end. Only time will tell how this affects the value of the peso. You can only hope for results that benefit both sides of the playing field. But until both governments move forward, no one knows, not even the experts, Facebook warriors or me for that matter. What lies ahead for the value of the Mexican peso at this point is nothing more than speculation. And if you made it this far, I want to thank you for watching. If you're an expat affected by these changes or someone who plans to move to Mexico, stay informed and consider your options carefully until we see some stability. Also, always take the fluctuation in the exchange rates into consideration when planning budgets and expenses, especially if you're coming to Mexico on a fixed income. There is more to living to Mexico for $1,500 a month than someone on YouTube or Facebook telling you it's possible. Always remember that. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment below with your experiences. It really helps me to make more content to help you. Until next time, stay safe and stay informed.